is uh, my three-dimensional pantograph machine. It's also called the tracer because it actually traces the form. Uh, I'm going to show you how I set it up uh, within a couple videos. Um, basically, there's a boom, what we call boom, that has two pointers on it. And they work together. And the boom sits on. A ball pivot joint. The weight of this is taken up by a weight in the back. So this ball point is very important because I need to line up the ball, the center of table one here, and table two. The tables run on ball bearings and a chain drive, which I can show you later. Um, I've um, what I need to find out first is the width. I mean, I have to make sure that the level uh, tables are level. in all directions. I have to make sure they're level, each one's level. I don't want the enlargement to go off. I've done that and I've cinched them down. The next thing is to figure out what the distance is or that you want your table set. So I have a trammel point here set up. And the trammel point should fit in there. And I came up with about 70 inches. And I want to make sure exactly what I have. Because this trammel point, these points on the center of the tables, will be used to set up where these two points, the center points of these uh, pointers are going to be. This boom will come down. I'll take it. I'll use the trammel points to set that up. I'll show you that. And then from there, once we have the table set up and we know the distance, we have to figure out what the distance is from table one to the ball pivot here, the center of that. And we adjust that, and that gives us the enlargement we want. So we have to know what the enlargement is. I'm going to enlarge a 24-inch figure to, uh, actually it's a 26-inch figure to seven, seven feet. So I came up with my table distance, and using the math and the ratio number, I can come up with the distance from this point on table one to the center of this, and then I adjust this accordingly. Uh, again, the same thing. These two points line up exactly where the table centers, and from this pointer number one to the center of the ball pivot, that will be adjusted as well, depending on the distance from the ball to there. So, I think it comes out to about 30 inches from the center here to there. I have a few inches I have to go back uh, to adjust that. But I wanted to start off with just showing uh, the machine a little bit. <clears throat> so this is the uh, next part of setting up the pantograph machine. Um, Berthold Neville uh, design. The uh, tables have been leveled. They're at the uh, exact uh, distance that I want them. It's a little over, I think, 70 and 5 eighths or something, uh, center to center. Uh, I've taken down the boom, which you see there laying there in a couple hurdles, or uh, not hurdles, uh, cradles. And what I have to do now is make sure the center of those points on um, what's called table number one over here, I have to make sure the center of that, the center of the point, is also um, the center of the table there. It has to be the same distance exactly. So I use trammel points to um, make sure they're perfectly in, the, in sync with the tables. The um, sway bar that you see uh, just above the um, main boom there, that also has to be at the same uh, trammel points as the table and the pointers. Uh, very important to have that in set. Also, you'll see uh, a little closer um, a level, and what I do is I try to level as best as possible each of these uh, uh, pointer assemblies. And there's one down here too. And once they're level, that means that the bars, the pointers themselves, will not be um, uh, off. We want those to be in line as well. But we can adjust that later if we need to. 
I've added a couple C clamps uh, or, or pipe uh, clamps on either side so that I won't, if I have to loosen them and adjust them, I won't have to um, uh, worry about the trammel points at that point. It, it, this could be the, the, the boom uh, that holds the pointers will be up in, uh, uh, up in the air basically and I, I'll be able to adjust it with these uh, hose clamps on there. Uh, the orange clamps to the left and uh, on there that's just to, to support the uh, boom while I'm trying to level it now my next um, my next uh, thing I have to do is uh, that's the ball socket I need to adjust that ball socket um, from table number one uh, in order to do that I need to know my ratio number from uh, the small model what size that is uh, divide it into the enlargement that I wish to do and I'll show you the math on that but basically uh, if I'm going to have it cast in um, bronze I have to a uh, loss wax process I have to think of the shrinkage involved so I have to add the shrinkage on to my enlargement and uh, that's a, usually a quarter inch per foot um, I'm going with a uh, seven foot uh, sculpture so any shrinkage from the seven foot will uh, I think I've added the shrinkage onto the seven foot so that it, technically uh, when it's cast in bronze and through the wax process and cast in bronze it should basically be uh, uh, seven foot uh, we're hoping for that or at least seven foot scale and that's that I'm going to show you the tr how I adjust the trammel points uh, this machine was uh, a good machine in the sense that it was set up so that the measuring things could be done with the trammel points. And there's points on here, one right here and one on the other side, right exactly where these, these uh, pointers would go. It's not going in there, it is, come on. There. And again, I set these up with the table, so this should be the same. And there's also a couple points here on the sway bar. And that should go in. Not as easy as it looks. There we go. So that's it. So that's lined up. I also, like I said, this is level with that one, so that's pretty good. Now I have to, my point from here to here has to be approximate. I have a surface image up on this, this level and that will fine tune the distance from table number one or point number one to uh, the pivot point. And that's the fine tuning and that's, that's important as well.